What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back again for the reaction. Today is a great, wonderful day because it's a Finnish and Swedish day. It's both. Finnish language. <laughs> Can Norwegian, Swedish and Danish speakers understand it? I don't know, but without further ado, we're gonna find out. Let's go. I said that my favorite animal is a cat. What's the cat? Well, kissa. Oh, that was a kissa. I was kissa. like, is it pizza? <laughs> is it my favorite food? Kissa. Hi. Hi. No. No. I've tried and it didn't work. <laughs> I've tried and it didn't nice. work. Maybe like one or two words. <laughs> so too. maybe if I'm lucky, I can get the cut, like the kind of the topic. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So I think uh, in Swedish, Danish, and uh, Norwegian, there is quite a lot of similarities. Mm. And then we in Finnish have a lot of loan words from Sweden, so maybe in that sense. Mm. But the grammar is quite different in Finnish compared to the other Nordic languages. Mm. Yeah, I think maybe that's where we are more similar, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think grammatically we're very similar, but it yeah. may sound a little bit differently. And then mm. Finnish grammatically, it's like I have no clue <laughs> of what they say, but then when they pronounce it, some of the words you may be able to pick up because it's the same as Swedish, which is the yeah. same then as Danish and Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So if you just like listen carefully for those words, you may be able to get a little <laughs> bit. I don't. That's interesting. So just maybe a couple of words here and there are loan words from Sweden, but for the most part, people don't understand what they're saying. Um, both Swedish and Danish and Norwegian people don't understand what they're saying. I don't think I will be able to understand unless she says very English-ish words or possibly okay. words that sounds more like Swedish. Let's see. So the first word is paper. Minulan paper. Paper. How do you spell paper? Okay, so it's just one. Yeah, it's the paper. So it's written in Finnish. It has the paper English. in English, but we just added an I. Mm. So it's paper. Okay. Dad paper. <laughs> no, because oh my god. In, in Norwegian, we have like dad is like papa, and then she was like doing like this, this, and I'm like maybe she's talking about like my oh, dad, my dad. My dad. Yeah. How did you guess that it's paper? In Norwegian, it sounds like paper. Mm -hmm. And then I know from like she adds a little bit of flair. So then I'm like, if I say it in Norwegian way with a flair, I'm like papiri. <laughs> Then it kind of like, it, it can make sense, yeah. Honestly, it just looks like the same word as the Danish word, which was similar to Norwegian papier. And I was just kind of guessing. For me, I think it was previously, you've been saying words that's like Swedish, but you add. And in Swedish, that is paper with an I in the end. So the second word is ketto. Kettle. No kettle? Oh, okay. Like the kettle that you put. Ah, can you see? Okay. Oh, a cat. Oh. Quite close. No. Oh. Why did you think this? Why? Because of the K. And in Danish, it's like cat, K A T. And I just thought, maybe it's cat. It's like very similar in a way, but also different from the Swedish mm. word. I guess the cat, because of the sentence it said in Finnish, sounded like it was somebody's thing. Like this belongs to somebody yeah. or this like... Oh, and that's why I'm like, it's somebody they have in their family or in their, yeah. or in their home, yeah. But you, you think you have the right answer? I think only because I heard it before, but I don't know if Sounds I'm right. Sounds like cat. Is it dog? No. Oh! You were in the right direction, but could you guess if... I say that there is a Norwegian song about this. Din, 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 din. A fox? Yeah. Oh, well, a fox. <laughs> it's a fox. It doesn't sound like fox to me. Well, in English it sounds like cats, but... Oh yeah. my god. <sighs> that was very hard. How do you guys say fox? Rev. Rev. And we say rev. Same, I think it's the same spelling, but just the different yeah. pronunciation. Yeah. The next word is koulu. It is similar to Swedish. Okay, show your answers. I don't know. Koala? <laughs> <This makes sense. laughs> koala. Koala? Uh, koala. Why did you think so? How do you say cola in the drink? How do you say Cookies. it in Cookies. <laughs> Cookies. Well, is cola is wrong. Because of like how we pronounce it in Norwegian, you say cola. Oh. 
and I cola. cola. I was contemplating whether I I should do cola or colleagues, <laughs> but I have no idea what Swedish word you think. That. I had no clue what she was saying. I just heard add cola, kulu, cola. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't think cola though. That's not what came to my mind. That sounds like. <laughs> I just tried to see the like similarities of these two words, so I was like, maybe it's koala, I don't know. So what this actually means is school. So school. how do you guys say school in your languages? Skola. 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 It's not even close. School, but you don't have like the case on you just don't have like the S sound. I think it's similar. Cool. You just like skip the like most important part of the word and then you're like, uh. Moi kaikki, mun nimi on Julia ja mä oon Suomesta. Uh, mun lempieläin on kissa. Hauska tutustua. Okay, How are you doing? I'll show your answers. Yeah, the Please last one was how you doing. Me what you heard about me. I heard there was like a hello or good day hello. part yeah. and then her name was Julia. And then yeah. I heard something how you know you that you pronounce that you're from Finland in a different way. In Finland. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't say Finland, you say so me. Oh so God. I heard that. Ah. So then I'm like, then she's saying she's from Finland. Oh, <laughs> and then there was something like the kippa. I don't know what that was. My guess was my degree, mm. no clue. And then it was like a nice to meet you. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I got How the are you? Julia because she, she said her name, so I was like, okay, mm. she's introducing her name. Mm. And then I kind of guessed maybe the tone the tone of her voice was as if she maybe was saying how old she was. <laughs> but I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I don't know any numbers mm. in Finnish. And then the end part was like also the tone of it sounded mm. like nice to me. I think again like just like you said, the tone of the way she started. <laughs> Her like sentences was like, okay, I am, my name is like this. this. So it was like an introduction yeah. in that way. The rest, I was just, I did not know the vocabulary. <laughs> I just couldn't get it. The last bit, I'm was. pretty sure I was, was how was are right you? Because I did say, hello, I'm Julia from Finland. I didn't talk about my degree. I said that my favorite animal is a cat. Oh, <laughs> wow. My what, favorite what, animal. What, what was the cat? Kissa. Oh, that was the kiss. I was like, is it pizza? <laughs> Food. I'm eating pizza, I don't know. Pizza. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't tell so, me the last bit. I'm going to talk about my hobbies. Are you ready? My hobbies include walking, nyrkkeily and ottaminen. That was three things? Yes. <laughs> I'm not clear what I she said. I didn't understand one word. Ah. Oh. Okay. Can you explain? To me, what you heard? So the first one I heard in Norwegian we say mat as food. Mm. Um, so I kind of like that could have been part of the first sentence. Uh -huh. So it could be something to do with cooking, hiking, walking, no clue. And then the last one, I was assuming it was like hanging out with my friends or being with people or being with mm -hmm. something. Okay. I don't know, I just kinda guessed. Boring. <laughs> baking. I, I was thinking about cooking. But I don't know, you like have a more baking vibe over you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. she's, ge she's guessing her vibe, not what she said. Just like, oh, you the vibe about <laughs> the way you are. You seem like someone that would bake. <laughs> you, you seem like someone that would bake. Sam's gonna guess that you said that you've been baking. That's so I felt like the baking thing too. Like for me, I I don't know if I'm right, but when you started your sentence, I thought maybe you talked about when I have like free time or when mm. I'm free kind of I don't know maybe I'm wrong mm. and like I like to cook either cook or bake and something with drawing very interesting apparently I look like I cook I don't really <laughs> but yeah. apparently uh, I look like a baking person but um, <laughs> what, what I actually said was my hobbies are Traveling, boxing, boxing, boxing. And, oh. and taking pictures, photographing. Oh, they got it completely wrong. Taking pictures. I could How do you say boxing then in Finnish? She, oh. That's the crazy okay. part. It's like I don't, I don't. We just say boxing. Oh, you say boxing. We don't. We don't Box. say like just, boxing. Yeah, yeah. We don't really say like Boxa. we haven't made our own yes, word for boxing. Yeah, yeah we do. Because oh. it's a loan yeah. word, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Boxing, boxing. Next. You have to guess which animal I'm talking about. Tää eläin on ihmisen paras ystävä. Tosi söpöjä. Niiden kanssa pitää viettää paljon aikaa. Ja mä luulen, että suurin osa ihmistä tykkää niistä. Ei oo kissa. Okay. 
Show your answers. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Horse, <laughs> rabbit, fish. Can I ask uh, why? Why did completely you think different animal? I heard something with is or something. So I thought about the sea. I, I didn't understand anything else. So I thought, okay, maybe it's something in the water. I thought I picked up something like outside, outdoors, and then not really much more. But then it was also friend, and then it's like, okay, friendly animal that lives outdoors. Mm. Yes. It could be like a horse, it could be something else. Outdoor friendly animal. I thought at some point you maybe said that was cute. But you got that right. I did say it's cute. If I say ah. it in English, human's best friend. <gasps> ah, a dog. Very dog. cute. Dog. The dog. Puppy. I could never guess yeah. that. <sighs> she said fish. It was really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, I think it was very difficult. Yeah, yeah I difficult. think it was just what I imagined is that if we get like standalone words, our guess is like at least that makes some sense, mm. but then in a sentence, you just, you're lost. Mm. I feel like Finnish will be harder for, if, harder for me to learn. I feel like Norwegian, Swedish, maybe Danish, it would be easier for me to learn if I wanted to speak one of those languages. But Finnish, you guys have a difficult language. I could just hear how, when she was speaking, I was like, there's nothing that is intelligible to my ears. There's nothing that I can hear that's like, oh, that's that. Whereas I feel like in Norwegian and Swedish, you guys use some words that are quite similar to English and it just sounds easier to understand. But um, yeah, Finnish, it's like a whole different language. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't understand anything here, maybe yeah. like 5%. But to be honest, I think you guys guessed more <laughs> than I expected. Mm -hmm. And this is really fun experience for me, since I haven't made people guess Finnish before. So it was awesome. I'm happy to share about Finnish. So today we tried to guess the Finnish language. And if you like this video, then press a the like, subscribe and leave a comment below. And we will see you soon. Bye! Bye! Bye. That was really good. I mean, yeah, that just shows that Norwegian, Swedish and Danish people, I'm not sure if you really understand your Finnish brothers and sisters. However, um, you're all still Nordic countries and you're all still related. It's just that their language is very different. Um, and for me as an, an, a, a British person who speaks English, it's my first language, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> I understood the Swedish and the Norwegian and a little bit of the Danish more. But yeah, the Finnish, I'm sorry guys, your language is difficult. It's interesting though. Maybe I should watch some more language videos on Finnish. Because maybe it's not fair because I've been learning a lot about Swedish and Swedish language. But I haven't learned anything and heard enough Finnish language yet. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section below if I should learn some Finnish words in my next video. Let me know. Until next time, I will see you later.